for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and on to you i lift my voice i say you are the lamb upon For oh, you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And on to you, I lift my voice, I say, You are the Lamb upon the throne. Let us say a word of prayer. Just talk to God at this moment. Appreciate him for who he is. He's king of our life. He's the one that gives us progress. The Bible says, except the Lord watches over the city, the watchman walketh but in vain. In vain you move about if the Lord is not helping you. And it is this same God that we want to hear his word today. Let us appreciate him. Let us thank him for his goodness. And worthy to be praised, you are the Lamb upon the throne. And on to you, Lord, I lift my voice, I say, you are the Lamb upon the throne. Faithful Father, we love you. We pray that as we hear your word today, that you grant unto us understanding. You speak to our heart. We pray for all that who will join us, Lord, that they will be blessed by your word today. Blessed be your holy and wonderful Savior. Speak through me, Daddy. I have asked in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Rehoboth. Rehoboth. Rehoboth is in scripture in the book of Genesis. It's a popular word. I want to talk about the Bible. Uh, but let's look at what that scripture says the scripture says here that in genesis chapter 26 verse 22 it says abandoning that one isaac moved on and dug another well this time there was no dispute over it so isaac named the place rehoboth which means open space for he said at last the lord has created enough room for us to prosper in this land. That's from the New Living Translation. So from this portion of scripture, we see that Rehoboth means open space. It can also mean a broad place. Some scriptures, some version says broad place, and some other um, version says room enough. That's enough room. Let this be in our mind as we study the scripture today. Rehoboth means open space, broad place enough room i want to do a little mathematics here um 20 divided by 2 uh, we know that to be 10 and then 20 divided by 5 will give us 4. i'll do the last one 20 divided by 10 gives us 2. You must have noticed that the values, the answer keeps reducing. We had 10, we had four, and we had two. The reason being that the denominator has been increasing. The first denominator was two, second denominator was five, the next one was 10. As the denominator, the down part of this mass increases, we find out that the answers decrease now if we look at what is said in physics force over area is equal to pressure so if we go by this mathematics we have done now you find out that if an area increases what will happen to the pressure the pressure comes down so if area increases as a denominator in this formula pressure will surely come down. Area can be surface area, whatever area. And that is to tell us that 
when you have an increased space, space is area. When I say, this is my area, we're saying this is my space. When you have increased space, you have reduced pressure. So have this understanding in life. If you have an increased space, you have less pressure. People have a lot of pressure in life because they don't have open space. They don't have a broad place. They don't have enough room. That is why where you see that a lot of people are in one room. You see a lot of pressure, pressure, because each do not have a space, an open space. So have this in mind that when area increases, pressure reduces. Now, with this, I want to show us a video clip so that we understand what this area and this pressure is. When you don't have enough area, you find out that you, you exert great pressure. Let's just watch this video clip briefly. I saw it on the net. This young man wanted to help these couple that we are in a muddy place. They were trying to come out, but they could not. So to enlarge the area, the surface area beneath them, he had to lie down on that mud so that they can climb on him and find a place that their leg can now be free. This particular man has great weight. Weight is force. He cannot move from that place because he is sinking. You find out that if he has enough space, surface area under his feet, you find out that he will be able to walk. His weight did not change. So in the formula, pressure is equal to force over area. Force may not change, but if you have enough area, you have less pressure. This man climbs on this man that has enlarged his feet under. With that, he was able to at least get up to get to a place where he'll be able to manage and go out. That is the importance of increased area. You'll find out that another illustration, when there's a place on small cars, they don't have enough weight, but they have, they have small tires. There are some places that a small car will sink, but a Jeep with the tires big, a great surface area will be able to pass. That is to say, when you have increased space, you have less pressure. The Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 37, in the Amplified Version, it says, you have enlarged my steps under me so that my feet had not slipped. It's the word of God bringing to your heart today to understand the robot, what open space, what enlarged area, what enough room can do for you. If you do not have space of your own, your pressure will be great. If you do not have space of your own, your pressure will be great in life. The truth is that some people live their life anyhow. They don't plan their future. That is why they have great pressure on them. Abandoning that one, Isaac moved on and dug another well. This time, there was no dispute over it. So Isaac named the place Rehoboth, which means open space. For he said, at last the Lord has created enough room, enough space for us to prosper in this land. Look at the sequence, enough space to prosper. A lot of people are looking for prosperity to have enough space. But the sequence here is that God gives you enough space. Without enough space, you prosper. A lot of people say they, can't, they are looking for when they have millions before they buy land. They, they, they are looking for when they have millions before they are able to, let's say, get something, get a place, build a place for themselves. But meanwhile, what you should be asking God is, Lord, give me space. You look for space, no matter how small, start from somewhere, and then you will see your prosperity. Space could be business. Some people want to have big money before they start a small business. But rather, you should start small, and you see yourself prospering. A lot of people say, oh, they are not staff. They cannot have a land. You don't need to go to a very big place where the land is too expensive. 
in a bush, normally you buy a bush and convert it to what you would like. Get something, get a space. Some places are facing great pressure, pressure from landlord because they don't have enough space. When space is small, pressure increases. So a, a Christian, and that must be a wicked Christian, will be praying and saying, hey, Lord, blind the eyes of my landlord. Let him not remember that I need to pay rent. That is wickedness. Get your own space and prosper in it. The force may not change. Different Christians will be in the same environment. The force has not changed. But you see one complaining of witches and wizards. Another one is just simple, praising God. All your night prayer is casting witch. Ah, a witch from my village, a witch from my village. The other Christian, he's just still praying the same number of hours, but his own is, Lord, I give you praise. I lift up holy hands and worship you. Because of pressure, you have no space. So anything you see, you call it witch. Cockroach will come out, you call it witch. Look for space. Look, ask the Lord, give me an open space. The Bible says in Psalm 118 verse 5, it says, I made my prayer to the Lord in my trouble, and the Lord gave me an answer and put me in a white place. The answer to some of your prayers or our prayers is just space. Some troubles you are facing is because you don't have space. And so God's answer to this prayer, I made my prayer to the Lord in my trouble. The Bible says, and he put me in a white place, white place, and that solved my problem. Why put yourself under great pressure? Tell the Lord, God, give me a Rehoboth. Give me my Rehoboth. Give me a space. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2, message scripture, it says, clear lots of ground for your tents. Make your tents large. Spread out. Think big. Use a lot of rope. Drive the tent text down and deep. So clear lots of ground. Buy land if you must. Clear lots of ground for your tents. Make your tents large. Spread out and think big. Don't be a mediocre. Think big. Increase space and have less pressure. When you have less pressure, it also affects how you pray. God will have more pleasure in your prayer because it will be born of praise and worship to him. Still Genesis 26 verse 22, the message version says he went on from there and dug yet another well. But there was no fighting over this one. So he named it Rehoboth, wide open spaces, saying now God has given us plenty of space to spread out in the land. Not the world, but there was no fighting over this one. We must not continue the fight. There are times the enemy will just have to be tired. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, verse 7, when God approves of your life, even your enemies will end up shaking your hand. Your enemies will congratulate you. They have fought so much, and they find out that it is God that has given you an open space. They have no option than to shake your hands and congratulate you. Another version will say, even your enemies will be at peace with you. When you desire to progress, that one Lord you have called the wicked man, you will be the one to tell you congratulations. Rehoboth, wide open spaces. Still that um, verse, it says, he went on from there and dug yet another well. That is to say that he had dug some before. There were problems. He went to another one, there were problems. Series of problems till he came to this one that he now dug and had open space. Some of us have been facing trials, series of trials. It's a time for Rehoboth, where you have rest of mind. Some of us have been investing, investing, and been failing in investments. Series of failure. It is time to go ahead and not get your Rehoboth. Your own story may be anytime you enter investment, that is the time the investment will end. As though they wrote your name in the list, that anytime we see this name, we should fold up. But when you have series, he went on from there and dug yet another well. That was Isaac. He was not tired. He said, God, I will receive my rainbow board. So you have been having problems. Go ahead in life. Don't be discouraged. The Bible says in Psalm 126, uh, 126 verse 1, it says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, 
we were like them that dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, our, our mouth is singing. What has the Lord done for them? They will say to the heathen, ah, the Lord has done great things for them. So whatever you have been passing through, the Lord will turn your captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. If we can go on to this word, he says, when the Lord turned the game the captive, it will be like a dream. He says, he went on from there and dug yet another well. But there was no fighting over this one. So he named it Rehob, but wide open space is saying, now God has given us plenty of space to spread out in the land. Victory comes in finding opportunities in every problem. In that problem you are, you can find plenty of space. At your place of work, you can find plenty of opportunities and space that when the Lord gives you, you have no reason than to give him the praise. Victory comes in finding opportunities. So in every challenge in life, in every challenge that you face, you can trust the Lord because in that problem, there is an opportunity. Sometimes our eyes are blindfolded by what we call problems. But in it, you can find opportunity. So it's for you to look on God, hold him and say, God, give me plenty of space. Lord, give me opportunity. At your place of work, you have an opportunity somewhere. You have a room somewhere. The Lord can make room for you there. There will be problems, but the Lord can make room for you there. If you can hold on to him and trust in him, he is able. Genesis 26, verse 26 to 28. After that, 22, the Bible says that then Abimelech came to him from Gera with Ahuzat, his advisor, and Philco, the head of his troop. Isaac asked them, why did you come to me? You hate me. You threw me out of your country. They said, we've realized that God is on your side. We do like to make a deal with you and a covenant. The enemy came to realize that we are fighting in vain, for God is with this one. So they came, these are core enemies. I don't know the enemies you say you may have, wherever, in your community, wherever. They will realize that God is on your side. I don't know those who are on you, bosses, whatsoever they are, they have looked at you, they will say God is on your side. That your prosperity comes from God. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 19, the wicked will come crawling to those who obey God. The wicked will come crawling to those who obey God. Do you obey God? That is the question. If you do, the wicked will come crawling. So if you can trust God, if you can hold on to him, you will get your rebel board. God is interested in giving you an open space for you to prosper. Don't think small. The Bible says, think big. Open your mind. Your God is a big God. We sing, we have a living God, we have a big God. God is big. He wants you to think like him. Don't be satisfied in just living a careless life, a life with great pressure. God wants to reduce your pressure. So he will give you open space. Make a decision in life. Get something doing. Get a space for yourself if you don't. Sometimes I feel, okay, the people I'm talking to, maybe the world is not for them. Maybe they have, they have houses everywhere. But think about it. There's something God is telling you. There are some that don't even have a land. They don't have a land. No matter how much they are paid, they end up taking loans and doing different things, ending up the money. Get a space and prosper in it. You can trust the Lord at your place of work to get a space for increase, to get a space. It is called rival bot. Why open space? God gave it to Isaac and he prospered. So we're going to trust the Lord together as we pray. We are going to tell the Lord, give us our rebel board. People are praying wrong prayers. People pray for prosperity. You should be praying for open space, and then you will prosper. So some people are not working. They are saying, God, eh, I need prosperity. Let somebody pay one million to my account. That is not them. Isaac walked. He moved from this place. He dug again. He, he got open space. And the Bible says he got open space and for him to prosper. Think, work hard, get an open space. 
So your prayer should be, God, give me an open space to prosper. You are telling God, God, I have been careless with opportunities, but Lord, this opportunity you are giving me now, I will not be careless. Lord, I will not be careless with this. I will not be careless with this open space. Lord God Almighty, I will do work. Begin to pray. Talk to God at this moment as we round up. Tell the Lord, Lord, in every way I've wasted opportunity. Another word for Rehoboth can be said to be opportunity. Can be said to opportunity, yes. Open space means opportunity. God has given you opportunity at different times and you have thrown it away. Tell the Lord, God, forgive me for being careless. But Lord, let me just prove to you that I will not waste this opportunity. Tell the Lord something. Just begin to pray at this moment. Lord, give me Rehoboth. Give me Rehoboth. Make that your prayer point. Lord God Almighty, I will not fail you. Lord, open space for me. Lord God Almighty. Oh, glory to Jesus. The reason why some people are prosper, the reason why you, you look at some people and say, ah, this one is given to the church, is just because they have the opportunity. You may not have the money. You may not have the opportunity. If you have, maybe you also show that you can also support God's work. So your prayer should be, God, give me space. I will also, also prove that I will be like Barnabas that I will support your work. Lord, I will support your work. Give God good reasons to give you good space. Make that your prayer point at this moment. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Have your way in my life. Lord, give me space. Lord God Almighty, I can support your work. Lord, give me the opportunity. Lord God Almighty, to show that I can be a vessel, Lord of honor. Oh, Lord God Almighty, help me at my place of war. Give me opportunity. Lord God Almighty, I will not fail you. I will not disappoint you. Lord, I will not fail you. Daniel did not fail you. Lord, you gave him opportunity to lead. You gave him opportunity to be in a place of high position. Father, Lord, he did not fail you. I will not fail you, Jesus. Lord God Almighty, give me an opportunity. Make that your prayer point at this moment. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. We will not fail. We want to trust in you. We want to trust in you. Special Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. There is none like unto you. We appreciate you for who you are. You have given us your word. Open space that we will prosper. Lord, give us the grace not to be lazy. Isaac dog. He left that place. He dog again. Lord God Almighty, we pray for people going for exams. Lord, that they will not relax. They will dig. Lord God Almighty, and you will give open space. Lord God Almighty, and cause them to prosper. Oh Lord, I pray for your mercy. I pray for your goodness. Lord, those who are looking for a place as in a land, Lord, open their eyes well. Lord God Almighty, that they will not fight over small lands, Lord God Almighty. But Isaac left those ones and went, and God gave him an open space. Lord, give someone an open space in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Savior. Amen. Receive the praise, Almighty Redeemer. We have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen.